gym done. Now to get on with the rest of the day. So it's been a busy day. I've just finished speaking here in Edgbaston, uh, about to jump back in the car. I'd kind of planned on vlogging a few things, recording a few things during the day, and that hasn't happened today. But that's okay, right? Because not every day turns out exactly as we plan it to, and it's been a busy day, and a busy day in a positive way. Today was a day where like so much stuff got done in such a little space of time, really. I say little space of time, it's been a long day, but it's been one day to do stuff that felt like it should have probably taken like five to 10 days. So sometimes the pieces fall into place. And I think it's important to remember that, especially on the days when nothing's falling into place. So this message really is a reminder for anyone that's having one of those days where no matter how much you do, it doesn't seem to be enough. There'll be some days that are simple. So let me ask you a question. When's the last time that you not only asked for, but you accepted help? See, I'm a big believer in the need for self-honesty, and if you've been watching the vlog, you'll know that already. You'll know that you know self-integrity is a, is a key value for me. Here's one of the other things that I think is so underrated, and actually it's something that I never used to be very good at, and that's how I know the importance of it. I've kind of learned the hard way, and that is asking for help, and actually accepting help when it's offered. Now, how I learned this lesson, is actually by getting injured. You know, last year in uh, 2016, I tore all of the ligaments off my right ankle. I was non-weight uh, non bearing, unable to walk without crutches, in a cast. And there were lots of things I couldn't do for myself. You know, simple things like making a, a hot drink and being able to carry it into another room was something that I couldn't do using like a regular, a regular cup, a regular mug. And here's the interesting thing. I got offered various help and I was able to embrace it. I was able to take it on board. And one example of that actually is a friend of mine that owns a company that makes travel mugs. They do one that's, you know, even for hot drinks, is, um, is completely sealed and you can tip it upside down and it won't spill, but it's got like a little air vent thing so it doesn't build up a vacuum. It's, it's, it's an awesome cup. They sent me one. They sent me one saying, why are you on crutches? You might need this. And I was able to embrace that. You know, I was able to accept people giving me lifts and driving me around. And I know this might sound like trivial stuff, but what are the trivial things in your life that are, even if they don't feel trivial right now, or they don't feel trivial to you, where someone else would wanna help you, where someone else would actually appreciate the opportunity to be of service to you. Because every single one of us, every single human, need, uh, human being has a need to be of service to other human beings. You know, we are a tribal species and we have this sense, this need for a sense of belonging and part of that is about being able to help others. And so if you don't allow people to help you, you're actually depriving them of something they need. You know how good it is when you help someone? You know how great you feel because you've been able to help someone? Don't deprive someone else of that opportunity. So. The reason for this video really is quite simple. If there's something that you need help with right now, ask. Ask for that help. And if you ask for that help, even if the first two or three people you ask turn you down, there's somebody out there that wants to help you. And we're actually, by letting them help you, in a strange kind of way, you're helping them. <laughs>